Aquinas's arguments for motion and from sufficient cost. And right at the end of the class, um, we we had a critique of both of these. Right? What was the uh, the critique? What was the big problem that we found with both of these? Yeah. It only implied that God did exist. It didn't imply that he still did. Yeah. So even if you buy everything said in the arguments, at best it establishes that God existed. Right? Uh, it doesn't establish that God in fact exists. So in order to get that stronger claim, uh, it seems like we need a different kind of argument. And that's what Aquinas gives us in uh, his third argument which we'll call the argument from the separate. <coughs> now, how many of you have um, attempted to put this argument in premise conclusion form like we did the first two? Nobody. Okay. Let's take <laughs> let's take between five and ten minutes, break into your groups. See if you're able to. I, I mean, this is a good exercise, right? Um, good. Reasoning training here, right? Good critical thinking training. So breaking your groups, five to ten minutes.